Hey guys, my name is Satya and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. Alright guys, all of us are going through the COVID-19 situation across the world and we are locked down in our houses. So I've decided to make a series on speech recognition in MATLAB and this is a demo and in the upcoming videos I'll post a playlist in which I will share my experience and how to make this entire application in MATLAB. Let's start the demo. So initially when I started to make this kind of GUI graphics user interface, I have decided like the primary purpose was just to record, pause, resume, stop, play and plot the audio file. Okay, that was the primary purpose. But uh, later on, like if I am able to record an audio file, uh, why not to put it for some useful purpose? So that's when I decided that I'll make a system with a, where a user can log in with his voice and uh, you know like uh, to get access to the some database or uh, some other useful information which is which will be password protected with the voice of the user so in this login system a new user can make a new entry once the entry is made you can save into the database and later on when you want to log in you can just sign in and uh, you can log in with your voice in the display section you will see the useful informations like uh, whether the user is registered or not, whether you are logged in or not. And here you will see the number of the total users, like uh, the length of the database basically, how many users are already saved into the database or how many voices are saved into the database. Uh, one more, a group of buttons or group of functions is provided where you can delete the database. For this you need a master password. Okay. And you can uh, like let's suppose the user forgot his voice and you want to retrieve his voice, his or her voice. So you can just provide the user ID and you can provide the password and just press the database button will get the information. Let's see all of this in action. I'm going to make a new entry and let's see what happens. Okay. So introduce yourself after the beep and your voice will be recorded for the 5 seconds, right? Hi, my name is Satya. Okay, now I'm going to save it into the database. Okay, I need to uh, enter my user ID. So let's say my user ID is 12290. Alright, you will see a message user registered. Now I'm going to make one more entry. I'll play the audio file from the movie The Great Dictator. Let's see how it turns out. Again, it will give me a prompt message that uh, it will introduce yourself and voice will be recorded after 5 seconds. I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, Black. Alright, so let's save into the database. Let's say Mr. Charlie Chaplin has 1000 as a user ID. Okay. You will see the message user registered. Okay. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to sign in into the system and uh, first I will speak. First I will try to log in into the system and it should turn out my user ID. Later on I'll play the audio file which I have recorded as a second entry into the database. And we'll play that audio file and let's see if the system is able to identify as a different voice with the user ID fetch it from the system. Alright, so I'm going to sign in now. Hi, my name is Satya. Alright, so as you can see I got my user ID as this one. Let's see, let's play the another audio file. I'll press the sign in, then I'll play the audio. I'm sorry. But I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or... Alright. So we get the user ID as a thousand and you remember from the earlier part of this video that it's the user ID from the second voice. Now I'm going to show you how you can delete the database. You can see the database over here. This is the voice database and this is the other database which is used in the system to store the voice samples like the pitch of the voice. Now I'm going to delete the database. Let's see what it says. 
So it's a wrong password because I have not provided any password. First I will provide the wrong password and let's see if it is working. I'll type some gibberish. Again, I'm getting the wrong password. So what I will do now, I'll type the right password. Alright, so the database is deleted and you can see in the folder here all the database is missing. Alright, so what I did in this process, I should have told you like earlier, like how to get this uh, voice sample, but the voice sample is already deleted. So what I will do now, because there is no voice sample to fetch from. So I will make one more entry and we will again uh, use this function. Alright. Okay, I get it. Hi, my name is Satya. Save into database. User ID is something different this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. User registered. Now I need to hear back my voice. Okay. So what I'll do here, I'll just provide the user ID. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I need the password as well. So both of these informations, password and user ID are needed to access the voice database. If uh, any of these information is not correct, the system will not be able to fetch a voice from the database. So let's see. Uh, in this case, both of these informations are correct. Hi, my name is Satya. So that was the voice which I have recorded while making the new entry into the system. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, this was just the introduction video for the upcoming series of the speech recognition in MATLAB of course. So here you will learn a lot of things other than speech recognition which is the basic task which is uh, the primary purpose of making this video. And uh, other than that you will uh, learn a lot of things how to work with the MATLAB interface and uh, you will also get to know about the app designer which is available in the new MATLAB versions and uh, you will also learn how to control the axis, how to uh, pass the data between the different functions, how to display the data, how to organize it, how to change the color, text, everything, lots of things you will you are going to learn in this process and definitely you, I am going to tell you how to make this beautiful graph over here and which is rotating. It's beautiful, right? Alright, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.